Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I am here with you today to do a monthly August reading for the sign of Taurus. So Taurus, it's your turn here and we'll see what's going on for you um, in this month of August. Um, as I'm filming this, tomorrow we do have Lionsgate energy. We've just just out of our new moon energy, we've got Venus in Virgo. We've got um, Mercury retrograded in Virgo right now. So a lot going on celestially. Spirit guides, what does Taurus have to know? For the month of August, what energies are around them? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. So maybe you are um, connecting more with your spirit guides, your ancestors, um, being willing to receive information, downloads from them. You've just opened yourself right up to that kind of communication in your life. And I think when, when you do, they'll be very responsive to you. Um, Taurus. We have gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. So you're coming into a time where you, you might be um, very successful in your career, in a relationship, in growing something, um, reaching a milestone of some kind, an accomplishment in your life. We have voyage to the heart. Love flows through you and to you. So you may be on a voyage of healing your heart right now, um, Taurus, and love is flowing into it again, flowing out of it, and it's all around you. So congratulations. We have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Um, clearly, you've gone through a lot here, Taurus, and you are strong, and you can overcome any obstacle in your life. With hard work and determination, you'll get there. So don't give up on yourself in any way. Watching clouds, lay back, rest, and relax. <laughs> kind of counter to that, right? Um, it's okay to work hard. It really is. Life does require hard work sometimes. But just like it requires hard work, it requires rest and relaxation and peace and quiet sometimes. So don't deny yourself this um, relaxation, Taurus. Don't work so hard in your life that you can't take time out to rest and relax. Solitude in silence, peace prevails. Isn't that true? I treasure the time I have each day to sit and do these readings just because of the quiet, the place I've built for me to do these readings, how comfortable I feel in it. Um, and it's quiet and it's peaceful and I get to be alone and just do these readings that I love to do so much. So find a place like that for yourself, that's solitude, that's dedicated to just you, that you feel just right in. Whether this is outside on a deck, in your backyard, in an extra bedroom like me, something like that. Some place that you can call on your own and just feel at peace in. View from above, get the big picture. So on this card, the imagery, right? We see someone looking out and they're seeing this hot air balloon, like something traveling in towards them. You may have a deep knowing of something coming in for you, coming towards you. 
you may be expecting something to happen or something like that. And spirits like, take a higher look, look at your situation from above. Um, where have you been? Where are you going? Be proud of yourself for, for any um, accomplishments you've made, any uh, growing you've done in who you are and what you want to be. But Spirit wants you to really take a look from a different perspective on your life, okay? Overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. You can overcome anything. Again, staying determined. And I'm feeling that energy here for you strongly, Scorp uh, Taurus. Oh, I wanted to say Scorpio here, didn't I? And of course, Scorpio is your um, sister sign. And last is wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So maybe you're really stepping into some leadership role in your life, in whether a career within your family structure, friend group, anything like that. You're just leading the way for others, shining a light along the way. Okay? Beautiful energy. I'm just going to take a sip of coffee. It's cool here today. If we have a high of 63, brr, rainy. A couple of days ago, it was like 99 <laughs> with 100% humidity. It's like, boy, weather can change fast. All right. We're going to take the good tarot. Connect into this energy we have here. So you're really stepping into some power and leadership. You're headed for a triumph. Connecting into spirit. You're going to rest and relax, aren't you, Taurus? And one more, please, Spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. And Three of Pentacles is an energy of coming together, mending, healing, collaborating, growing something, building something, teamwork, relationships. Um, so you may have some opportunities like that coming in for you. Maybe you're partnering with someone as it is, working with someone closely on something. Okay, a quick look at our spread here, and we have one two major arcana cards and we have an ace down here in the base energy in the center of our spread we have the eight of cups the eight of cups is an energy of you know i've been through it all i've i've healed through the losses and i'm just letting it all rest where it is and i'm moving on to my happiness i'm just keeping myself moving and going forward in my life um, so that's what's happening here the overall theme of the reading, right, is this going for our happiness, I think. Um, in our first position, we have the Knight of Wands. 
So this is a fast moving energy. This is someone fiery and passionate about the path they're on, the work they're doing, the situation they are in their life, how they present themselves. It's like a, um, a fire sign kind of energy, wands are. So this person could be very magnetic, charismatic, um, creative, using his creative energy on some kind of a path. And then we have the nine of nine of wands. So this person is um, holding their ground. They're holding their energy back a little. Um, purposefully, they're being careful with their energy, how they use it, who they let in. It's um, somebody that may have been hurt in the past and they're really boundaried up. Um, maybe they've learned their lesson and they're being careful with their energy. Maybe sometimes too careful. And then we have the devil energy here. Um, they call it temptation in this deck, but it's the devil. So um, this could be attachments. This could be fear. This could be addictions. Um, it could be lying, cheating, stealing, any kind of negative behavior. And it can even be somebody who is in an obsession, obsessed with something like obsessed with some type of work or person or um, doing something um, in their life here. So we've got this knight of wands who's boundaried up and has a devil energy here attached. In the middle row, we have the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity of some kind. Maybe this Knight of Wands um, is headed for a victory of some kind with this Ace of Pentacles here, some type of an opportunity coming in. Um, the Eight of Cups, we're going towards our happiness, right? And the Three of Swords, our broken heart. Somebody is broken hearted here. Hmm. In the bottom row, we have the star. So maybe we're healing from this energy that's here. And the star is healing energy. It's illumination in the night. It brings in clarity, justice. It can be divine timing in a way too. And then next to that, we have the two of swords. The Two of Swords is an energy of somebody that's had an argument, right? And they're kind of confused about the outcome of it. How did it go? Um, confused about making a decision, a direction to go in. Things up in the air aren't clear. And it can even be somebody just waiting to see what happens. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a grounded, mature queen. She's dependable, reliable. Um, she sticks to herself. She's guided by her intuition, very connected to earth energies. And an extra card that fell out is the nine of swords. This is worry, anxiety, fear um, cropping up in somebody that might be affecting their sleep or keeping them awake at night. Okay. So as I look down at this, this Knight of Wands into this Ace of Pentacles, into this star, like triumph, right? Some kind of opportunity here. All right, let's clarify this for you, Taurus, and see what we can figure out for you. Okay, spirits, can you tell me about the night of wands for Taurus, please. What's going on with this Knight of Wands? Hmm. 
And then we have the Queen of Wands here. So this Knight is thinking about this Queen. And he's up in his head. He's overthinking things, confused, angry, frustrated, maybe arguing with other people in conflict, um, frustrated, exhausted, overwhelmed, tired. And there's that two of swords, the argument, wanting the clearly, what happened? What did I do? How did I do it? How can I figure this out? Tell me about the nine of wands here. The nine of wands is the king of wands. And he has the ace of pentacles, an opportunity of some kind. And he's in hermit energy right now, or he's thinking about a hermit. Tell me about temptation, please, with the devil energy here. The wheel of fortune is here, some change coming in. Eight of pentacles, um, the work we do, the effort we're putting in, how we earn our money, we're passionate about it, and we're healing our heart. So our heart is healing here. So there might be a change in work for someone. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is the King of Swords. This is our um, analytical, wise, um, cold energy here. Somebody that would... Um, Cut out anything that doesn't serve him. Walk away from it. Reliable, um, bright, intelligent. Queen of Cups is here. Um, she's the most love in the tarot. Abundant, unconditional love. She's often very intuitive, very psychic, very nurturing, very kind. Great manifester. And... There's a death and a rebirth here that someone's been going through. And Ten of Cups. Um, this person's going for their Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. What is this energy for Taurus? Please, Spirit. Ooh. <laughs> it's the Empress here. She's going for her Ten of Cups. She's looking for a victory, some success. And the King of Pentacles is here. So somebody wants some kind of success with this empress. And they see their happiness with this empress. And the sun also came out there. So the sun is coming out. There's going to be a victory here. Some clarity. About reciprocal energies. Tell me about the Three of Swords. It's the Four of Cups. Somebody's staying in this heartbreak, um, staying in this sadness. They can't get out of it, but they're doing a little bit of manifesting here in the sadness. Somebody's still sad. Yep, this person's thinking about a soul connection. And they're going to move forward in a balanced way. This is Cancerian energy, right? And the emperor drives this and only moves when it's balanced going forward in life. 
and that could be going forward to a triumph or a success in some way. And the star is here, so we're healing here. We're healing this heartbreak. We're getting out of the sadness, and we're moving forward in life. And tell me about the star energy. The star energy is the queen of pentacles, our grounded queen here. She was already out on the table. Page of cups is here. This is a beginning love offer that could be coming towards her. Something from the past in some way past soulmate, a past life connection, and a fool, somebody ready to take a leap of faith at some point or something in their life. Tell me about the Two of Swords energy. Two of Swords energy was loud in a lot of the readings for August. of swords is the ace of swords right the potential for truth and honesty to come in queen uh, the lovers is here a connection a decision that has to be made and archangel michael saying stay patient stay calm stay balanced right and just let the energy play out tell me about the queen of pentacles please Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles is the Page of Wands. She's fired up about the path she's on, the work she's doing. The Hierophant is here. This is about commitments, agreements in our life, our morals, our values, our ethics, our conduct. Coming into play here, a very spiritual connection. And this is the Knight of Cups, somebody who is romantic. And, you know, he's got the whole date set up here, right? Um, this is somebody who comes in with a cup of love. Um, but sometimes it can be a in and out kind of energy, too. So have to be careful of that. And we have the Queen of Swords there with that energy. All right, so we have all the queens out now to go along with this Empress that's out here. And tell me about the Nine of Swords, what's happening with this energy. It's the High Priestess, right? She's going inward, she's figuring it out, right? She's using her intuition quiet, watching, waiting to see what's going to happen with this. What else about the Nine of Swords, please, Spirit? Page of Pentacles, somebody in the beginning energy. To earn pentacles, some kind of path or something they're on. It's a start, a newbie, a student. Tell me about the hermit, please.
Hermit is in the Six of Swords, moving away towards calmer shores. Right, and they're boundaried up. They're protecting them. They're in self-protective mode. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. And that is the Ace of Cups, a love offer coming in. What else about the Wheel of Fortune? Hmm. Somebody currently holding their energy back, being careful with it. Okay. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. King of Cups. Tell me about the Sun. What's going on with the Sun? Three of Cups. Maybe you are friends with this person. You get together and you celebrate. You have a good time. That could be communication coming in. Tell me about the Fool. It's Judgment. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the Seven of Cups, a decision that has to be made here with the lovers. Knock Angel Michael saying, stay pat, stay balanced. Yeah, somebody's getting about ready to make a move of some kind. And tell me about the High Priestess. High Priestess is the Five of Pentacles feeling out in the cold, left behind, and the Knight of Pentacles go on a path to earn Pentacles. And Wish Fulfillment is hidden, a hidden energy here with the Moon. Maybe this energy will be coming in with the Full Moon on the 19th. As I stop there, here we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom, and this is fast-moving energy. This can most likely indicate some fast-moving communication coming in for you, maybe around the full moon here, Taurus, um, relative, I would say, to a love connection, somebody with the Ace of Cups that's holding their energy back right now. Something's going to change. There's been a death and a rebirth. And it looks like you're coming together in some capacity here um, and reaching out to somebody about ready to make an offer to somebody. Okay, let's take the good tarot and, you know, let's uh, sum up all this energy up here. What is it going to look like by the end of the month? Um, after we go through, you know, the 8 8 portal and the next full moon and all these changes that are happening with the planets, the moves they're making, what does this look like for you? What does it mean for you at the end of the month? How does this all play out? And of course, free will can be at play here. So there's no guarantee, right? If the person making the offer coming towards you doesn't come in August, um, if you don't want him to come, Hmm. who knows what could happen so let's see how this energy looks for you Taurus looks like you've done a great bit of healing your own heart here all right 
spirit guides, what is the outcome of this energy for Taurus come the end of the month? How does this all look for them? Wow, there's some big energy here in this end of the outcome. Woo. Does it look for Taurus? Okay, let's run through this for you. Big energies. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, so come the end of the month, this is what might play out for you, okay? Um, Knight of Swords is here. This is someone that comes in fast with some information, some truth, some honesty maybe. And maybe it will be a justice for you. Bring some balance, some evenness to a situation in your life. Um, someone's in a hanged man here. We didn't have that in our energies. But there's a hanged man here. Somebody waiting. And it's the end of that. It's the end of that cycle. And that might be um, what gets communicated to you. Six of Cups. This is something from the past that you're healing the past. This King of Wands maybe is trying to heal things from the past. Let go of the Ten of Swords, right? And he's in full energy. He's ready to take a leap of faith and leave that all behind. Eight of Wands communicating that. Moon hidden energies, illumination, clarity, lighting up the night. Three of cups, friendship, collaboration, having fun together, communication of some kind, an invitation to a party or event. Ten of cups, 
happiness. Queen of Wands. So we have the King and Queen of Wands here that might be coming together. And it might cause a tower. Four of Cups. Sadness manifesting. Queen of Cups is here. She's in the Two of Pentacles, trying to think, keep things in balance, make a decision in her life here. Chariot, balanced forward movement. Triumph, a victory. Spirit is saying, stay patient. The lovers, the connection is here. Stay patient in a love connection. Four of Wands, stability, union, coming in. So you could have... A king of wands coming towards you. That might cause a tower for you, Taurus. Um, and what you'll do, so be thinking about what you want to do should this energy come into you. Okay. We have sacred destiny here. My house phone just run, and we're talking about communication, so be prepared. Oh, what energies are supporting Taurus through the month of August? Bottom of our deck is diligence, doing your due diligence, putting in the effort, the work, the care, the concern of somebody, staying committed and dedicated. Okay, and transformation here, only because we have death and rebirth in this, a new beginning here. You're emerging like a great butterfly here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's pick this all up and see what we have. Okay, we have the transformation energy, right? Emerging from this death and rebirth. You're staying diligent in some capacity in your life on a path in the work you're doing, something you're trying to grow um, in a relationship, whatever it is for you, you're staying diligent and focused on it. You are going to have an opportunity here of some kind to come in. We have two Ace of Pentacles out here. Um, some type of an opportunity, a chance that something is coming in. Let life be delightful. <laughs> Enjoy your life, Taurus. Take time to rest and relax. Right now you're thriving in these energies. Keep thriving. Keep doing the work. Keep striving for what you want in your life. 
wish fulfillment is coming in. Get ready. Yeah, you want freedom. Freedom from what? Worry, fear, concerns, financial freedom. Something that can set you free and release you from these burdens. Let life be pleasurable, right? There's going to be more opportunities to have pleasure and enjoy your life. Trust in the divine. Trust that there's a divine plan for you. Everything is always working out for you, Taurus. Repeat that as often as you have to until you, until you believe it. Ah, potential. There's great potential for success in your life, whether this is in a career path, in a relationship, okay? You have great potential for success here. You have a new beginning with this death and rebirth and the transformative energy. Spirit saying, get still. I want to communicate with you, right? And you are open to your spiritual source. So I need you still and rested so I can communicate with you. There's some enlightenment going on. And we have two stars out here, two suns and three moons came out in this energy today. So there's a lot of illumination energy around you coming in that's going to make things easier for you. You're on a voyage of some kind here, a healing journey, a spiritual journey, a love journey, maybe all of those kinds of journeys. Yeah, and you're embracing your spiritual sources here. You're connecting in more with spirit, your angels and ancestors. Change is coming in, right? Change is needed here and it's coming in. You are healing the chaos and the craziness in your life letting it all go, releasing these kinds of energies in your life and stepping into a simpler form of living. The energy of miracles is around here for you, Taurus. Expect the unexpected. Expect things to happen in your life. Something that you've wished for or prayed for might be coming in. Stay aligned in this state of flow and this energy. And solitude. Spending some time alone, even if this is in connection with someone else you spend alone, alone time with. That solitude and time together is important in your life. All right, Taurus, that's the reading I have for you. It's like you're going to get a little bit of a helping hand here. It's going to come out for you and boost you along in some way. Something unexpected that brings you an opportunity of some kind to look forward to, okay? So that's what I have for you. Thank you for being here and supporting the channel. I support. I thank you for all your watches, likes, shares, and comments. We'll see you in the next reading and sending love and light to all. Take care. Bye-bye.